Hey guys, now that everyone can own Steamboat Willy, let's try to make a clay version out of this masterpiece. Clay clay. Have you ever wondered why Steamboat Willy holds a special place in animation history? And what fact sets it apart? Well, today we are diving into the world of classic animation with Mickey Mouse's iconic debut in Steamboat Willy. To be honest, there were so many ways I could have created today's project. My only fear that I will screw it up by creating this masterpiece which revolutionized the industry. And we start by creating the tiniest Mickey Mouse which I have ever created. It has the size of my thumb. One inch high. Look at the boots. Well, I stick with the clay creating a Mickey who will later be able to dance. We will also bring in some new materials, which I haven't used yet in any video. Plus, I want to make the boat, the steamboat, movable as well. If you have seen the original cartoon, you may have a guess where I want to go with this. Back to the historic cartoon, which is the reference for today's creation. It is the one that introduced synchronized sound to animation. Nobody had seen that before and Walt Disney predicted that everyone would love that and created a whole new experience for the audiences worldwide. And now, nearly after a century, Disney no longer holds the rights to this landmark creation. It's right, Steamboat Willie has sailed into the public domain and meaning everyone including me and you can now bring this piece of history to life in our own creative journeys and even sell it. While I'm placing the hat on top of Mickey's hat, that's it for the clay part, at least for Mickey. The arms and legs will be made out of a different material. For now, I will stick with clay and create the steering wheel and also the life buoy. Now that we have sticked in the wire into the steering wheel, we'll bring in a new material. <gasps> Wait, what's that? We've got mail. We are merging the old with the new, the classic with the cutting edge. Thanks to today's sponsor, Creality, we are taking a leap into the future of 3D printing. And what better way to do that by bringing a piece of animation history to life. We are using the incredible Creality K1C 3D printer, renowned for its speed to recreate none other than the iconic steamboat from the beloved Steamboat Willie. Well, everyone can use it right now. The K1C isn't just fast like a steamboat. No, rocket boat. <laughs> it's versatile, handling carbon fiber filament with ease. But today we are sticking with PLA to bring our steamboat to life. The setup was so easy even for me as a clay artist. What's amazing is how user-friendly this machine is. With its intuitive menu and remote monitoring capabilities, it's like having a 3D printing companion right at your fingertips. Check out the link in the description to get your hands on the Creality K1C and start your own 3D printing experience. Thanks again to Creality for sponsoring today's video. So, you know how Steamboat Willie's chimneys are always bouncing up and down in the cartoon? Well, we thought, why not bring that iconic motion to life in our clay and 3D printed model of the boat? And our wizard of wires, Morris, has cooked up a little mechanical magic for the Steamboat Willie project. Each chimney is connected to a string and the string is driven by a wheel when the pedal wheels are rotating. 
All the parts you see right here were printed using the K1C 3D printer and in record time. So we didn't have any long interruptions, which for me is quite important for a creative project like this one. Especially when several people are working on this at the same time. Here you can see a spring, which is also 3D printed. I didn't know this was possible, Morris came up with the idea and we will drive the chimneys and let them spring back. Let's see if it works. Awesome! 3D printing is so underrated. We are now assembling the whole mechanism as explained and the best part, it's all hidden inside the boat. So all you see are these chimneys dancing and bringing a piece of animation history right into the real world. Meanwhile, I am still working with clay. Morris is busy with the 3D printer, I'm working on the three whistles which are on top of the roof. And while it may be disappointing that they are not moving in the final creation, I can assure you I was looking for ways, but then decided that it would be better if the video would finally come out after three weeks of building on this project, instead of adding another feature and adding another movement. <sighs> We have some boxes hidden in the backside of the boat. Hit the bell, subscribe guys to support the channel. And I also want to thank you and welcome everyone new. We have recently hit the 3.2 million subscribers. So welcome to the channel, to all of you. This video will also be available in German and Spanish, which you can change in the settings. Now we are working on the arch enemy of Mickey Mouse, or Willy as he is called in this project. We are creating Peck Leg Pete and will hide him on the boat because for me he is part of the project. He should be included. Mickey as the hero, Peck Leg Pete as the villain, the classical stuff. While we are assembling the different elements, I am thinking about the posture. How to put the body in position as we are on a boat, we have the ship railing, right? Wouldn't it be funny if Peg like Pete would try to climb on top of the boat again? Maybe he has fallen off, maybe his head is wet in his hands while he is trying to climb back onto the boat. It's an untold story. Peg like Pete wants the boss of the steamboat falls overboard due to his mischief. Struggling back, he now tries climbing onto the boat, unseen, showcasing his unexpected plight in our clay miniature world. Now we just have to put everything together. We have the various steamboat parts and also the often hardened clay parts. Crystal has sewn a fabric casing for the chimneys. This hides the springs and makes the whole thing look like a real steamboat. I just hope the mechanism still works. Yes, I think so. Now I'm quickly assembling the rest. We have the crane to the stern and also gluing the fabric to the deck of the steamboat. <sighs> Seems like if it is too strong for the springs, we change to paper. This is very thin black paper, which should work better for the mechanics. We glue it around the springs. Yeah, they are dancing. 
Oh boy, I really hope I don't screw up the mechanism. I'm now assembling the cabin and on top of the steamboat. In the cartoon there are the three funny little pipes. They are like characters themselves. The tallest one is always ready to whistle a happy tune. Next to him is the chubby pipe who joins in with deeper tones, making the music sound full and rich. But then there is the smallest pipe who doesn't seem to want to whistle at all. Everyone has their own personality, just like people. Now we have some cord for the crane and I also wanted to create a tiny hook as well with wire. Yeah, it looks quite nice. The crane looks so beautiful. In the cartoon it is used to bring the cow on board. And of course we are now gluing Peg Leg Pete to the railing so that he can climb back on board. And we give him some more hair, facial hair and maybe some transparent polish for the snoot and eyes. And for the teeth. Oops, this was too much. Morris did not only think about the chimneys dancing, but also gave me a way to let Mickey Mouse dance as well. I thought of something special for Mickey Mouse here. I'm using black cord for the arms and legs and we are gluing it in with some super glue. Uh, it looks like that the super glue and the cord became totally stiff. This is too bad because I really wanted to make the legs and arms move and dance. We are switching to black wire, coated wire for arms and legs. The small metal pin that Morris has built into the mechanism will also move up and down. I will glue Mickey's belly to this metal pin so that he dances. The black wire for the legs disappear into the belly where he dances. I have drilled small holes there. Hopefully it will look as if Mickey is dancing at least on one leg. Oh no, look, now on two. After spending some time to put the clay pieces in place, I noticed that the mechanics aren't working anymore. This is super frustrating. Now I know what it must have felt on the boat doing all these tasks. Nothing is working. After trying to fix the mechanism by myself by using springs, I asked Morris for help. 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 Right now in the video it looks like as if Morris had the solution right away, but we struggled for hours finding the best mechanism to make the chimneys work again. And luckily with the K1C we had the possibility to create the missing piece right away and quite quickly to test out the new solution for the chimneys. While Morris is busy now reassembling the steamboat, I try to find a beautiful solution to make Mickey's front arm moving. Like in the animation. After we replaced the ship's deck, the chimneys were no longer in line, but slightly offset. This doesn't look quite as good, but the rubber bands and cords now have enough space and no longer get tangled up with each other. 
And then we just reinstalled everything. The springs, the bridge, Mickey's shoes. So now we can back to work again and reassemble Mickey. The mechanics are working now, Mickey is moving, so are the chimneys dancing and I can't wait to coat them again, this time with this special paper. I have now put it all back together, let's see if it works. Is the chimney's mechanism strong enough for the paper? It's moving. <laughs> Look at that. They're going down. <laughs> they are bending over just like in the cartoon. <laughs> it's working. <laughs> there is not much left to do now. We glue the live buoy to the rail and attach the pedal wheels. Also on the other side and then Guys, I guess that's it! Steamboat Willy! Made with clay into 3D printer! I'm curious to read how you like the end result with the 3D printed pieces, but also the clay. Let me know in the comments. Thanks again, Creality, for sponsoring today's video and for sending us this awesome 3D printer. For you guys, have an awesome weekend and take good care. See you next week. Bye.